Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So, from popular demand, people wanted me to go back onto Arch. So that's what I've done. So I have decided to do the KDE. I've been wanting to do KDE for a little bit, just to see what's going on. Before I moved to i3 and the window managers, I was on KDE 4. I don't remember the last version. But uh, this, uh, I think you guys remember from when I was on Gen 2 on here. This is simple, uh, simple monitor. So it gives you the cores, date and time, uptime, and then the CPUs. So this is the temperature, and this is how many is going, memory, and swap. Um, so there's only a few things I need to do on here. Uh, for whatever reason, I tried to get Excalibur, which is like the Lancelot from the KDE four days but the link is broken so I don't know if it's the version on I don't know if it's the link itself or if it's the version of KDE do not know so there are a few things that I do need to do here so I'm gonna hopefully uh, do this here so I need to get onto the see if I can find the settings here you know, I'll just search system settings. So I actually have two uh, screens, but for whatever reason, they're not showing up. I need to uh, do that here. Um, and then I'm going to try to do some anti aliasing. So we're going to look for that. I believe it should be under fonts. Let me see here. Shortcuts. Here's fonts. and then there should be anti-aliasing possibly somewhere ah, anti use anti-aliasing so I'm going to enable that uh, and then just click apply So, okay, whatever. Uh, the next thing is I'm going to try to get my second monitor to work. So let me see if I can figure that out. Once I t plugged it in, it gave me some, I don't know, some type of display monitor. And there's that one. So enable that, click apply, and hopefully, yep, there it is. So now I can go in between the two. The, the weird thing is with, um, with KDE so far, uh, and, and I know I'm a little bit blurry here, is that when I set this, the right monitor isn't set either. So that's kind of strange. I don't know if there's possibly a positor if there's just a way I noticed that even on um, gen 2 so I'm just going to apply that one too and there we go so now I get both of these going so which is nice um, let me know uh, if there's any like tweaks that you guys like to do on your KDE or your system it, it's again it's been a while since I've been on a KDE full time on a computer. If I can't get used to this, I probably will just go back to i3. But on a desktop, like I've said before, it feels strange to be using just the keyboard on a desktop. I'm just not used to it. Uh, actually, one last thing we're going to change the icon. So, what we're going to do is just go to Google here and so we'll say Arch. Linux icon images oh I don't know um, let's see here I might just do something like I done before uh, let's just go with let's just go with this one so we're just going to save 
save image as I'll just save it to the main desktop here or the main folder so now if we go down here configure application menu change this other icons we'll browse uh, go home and it should be right there and I just click apply and there we go uh, I'm actually going to also change the th I like a darker theme so I believe themes uh, let me see here again been a while uh, let's see here I'm actually gonna search I when I was on uh, Gentoo on the desktop I actually found some really cool uh, some really cool uh, icon theme it was called um, papyrus I believe so I, I'm gonna try to get to that uh, where I just saw themes oh, workspace theme maybe uh, desktop theme let's go breeze dark there we go it's not bad let's go oxygen really fast hmm that's not what I wanted alright I might just go with breeze dark here except that just turns really tiny wow I don't know why that turned tiny All right, well, that's all I'm going to do for right now. Um, yeah, I've just been moving over some stuff. Um, I don't know why this goes to fault. And my, all right, I just have to figure that out. I have moved over my cute browser configs, but for whatever reason, they're just not holding. Uh, I'll just, I'll figure it out and let you guys know what I find. Let's see here. Uh, dot config cube browser yeah don't know why it's not going here hmm All right, I'll figure it out I think I there was some something weird I'm gonna get a few more apps and just let me know what apps you guys like and which icon packs you guys like and just letting you guys know that I listen to you guys and I am back on Arch at least temporarily or at least on the desktop and I'm also on Arch Linux on my Raspberry Pi which is doing the um, ZNC so for my WeChat so uh, let me know if you guys um, I'm, I have maybe a few ideas I, it, it's been done before like maybe changing your kernel um, and maybe going to testing again on Arch Linux so but uh, yeah so this was gonna be another quick one and I'll talk to you guys later